This is some Jeff Gordon quicker. I think I'm gonna try to go quick. Oh, no, it's stuck. Son of a bitch, I knew that would happen since it was, it was bashed in there. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. So we got another fixer upper slash DIY type of uh, repair. So the rear hub on this 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee um, has gone bad. It's pretty much simple. It's, I think it's easier in the rear than it is in the front, to be honest with you, but regardless, everything's gonna come off. You get your tire, your caliper, your uh, rotor, and then you get to the rear uh, hub. It's held on by Four bolts in the back, it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, easier said than done because they're pretty much rusted in there. Pretty good, especially being up here in New England. This is probably probably the original um, wheel bearing. What do you think? Probably. You think it's the original? Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. We'll find out when we take it out, right? If it's not stamped with the Chrysler logo. But, but besides that, it's fairly simple. This is pretty much what any other vehicle looks like, just the different sizes of, of what's coming off. You know, you gotta take the tire off, you gotta take off the caliper, you gotta take the rotor off, and there's the four bolts in the back. It's pretty self-explanatory, so let's get right to it. All right, so on this particular vehicle, we got a 13 millimeter on the back to hold, to take off the caliper, and then I was, I was, r r I was mistaken, not wrong, mistaken. This vehicle is a little weird. So the rear, maybe, maybe not, maybe because it's just for the front, the caliper, um, the caliper bracket is separate it bolts to the knuckle that makes sense because the knuckle so this the caliper bracket actually bolts right to the back of the hub which is held in by the four hub bolts so maybe it's a little bit easier to take it off i'm gonna hope so i don't know but let's get to it relatively new you know mm -hmm. such a shame she's getting rid of it you know okay probably is the original wheel bearing look at how rusted it is it might be um i mean it's such a shame that this car is such that like it, it's run down because it's surprisingly really clean under here you know yeah and i mean look at this there's, there's really no rust under here this thing must have been undercoated by someone someone for being a new england truck so maybe the person who bought it she bought it used the person who originally owned it probably took undercoated care it. took care of it probably undercoated it when he bought it knowing he lives up here and then part outside and having more fluid come out because I don't want to replace the fluid. So what we're gonna do is on the back there's studs. They look like this and it's in like this. You can see the back threads coming through here and the top here is an eight millimeter which is where the nut is screwed on here and this is the gap between that's in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off that uh, take out the stud and then tap 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 so this thing comes apart. And then I can, with that out, I can maneuver it back into the axle shaft uh, sleeve and call it a day. It's pretty simple, you just take, you take the tool, right? You screw it on in, make sure everything's disconnected in the back because you will rip it out. Well, I mean, that's what we hope, right? To rip it out, make it easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know? But when I did your shitbox Nissan, that came out really good. Um, when I tried doing the one on the truck, that didn't even come out. 
this out. We're just gonna see, right? Alright, ready? Yep. simple it's pretty easy to do this I mean it's easy for the DIYers with the t simple tools it doesn't take long you can rent the slide hammer and we got the wheel bearing we're not putting much money into this vehicle so we got the wheel bearing for 40 bucks off Amazon free shipping and we got new lugs uh, new lugs cost 12 bucks for all five uh, lug nuts um, so it's pretty simple what do you think Connor pretty easy yep you, think you can do it Probably took me see, some time, but it would. Here we go. See, guys, you can do it. If Connor, Tor if Connor Tor can do it, you guys can do it. All right, guys, so this concludes this video for today. Uh, you guys do whatever you want. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.